Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is the Harmony Wedding Planning Benefit, and we're raising money for several worthy causes. Right now, we're conducting a contest where the young couples you see are competing for perfect couple. They've already been judged on various events, and what you're seeing now is the Garter Removal Contest. One day, Ethan, you'll realize you love me and not Gwen. And we'll be doing this for real, at our own wedding. Ethan, the contest is over. Right. Contest is over. <laughs> uh, Chad and Whitney won. Yes. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's terrific. I wonder where they are. Well... Chad's over there, and Whitney's over there. I think she was really shaken up by all of this. It is so obvious that Whitney likes Chad a lot, and he likes her. I don't understand why they can't see it. I don't know. Maybe if they were chosen for a perfect couple, Whitney would wake up and see that she does have feelings for him. And that would work. Maybe. You think so? Yes. When a person is denying their feelings, sometimes they need a little shock to make them see the truth. And uh, winning the most perfect couple might just be the shock Chad and Whitney need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the judges will need a few moments to confer, and then we'll announce this year's perfect couple. Well, uh, good luck, you two. <laughs> you Thanks. too. You too? Where's Whitney? Oh, no, man, she, uh... Couldn't get away from me fast enough. I better go see if I can find her. Look, I saw you and Whitney dancing together. It didn't look like she was too anxious to get away from you. Well, when you were seeing something I didn't see. Look, Whitney's made it clear to me enough times already, man. She don't want nothing to do with me, all right? So I ain't gonna keep knocking on some locked door. Look, maybe she said that, but I don't buy it. Maybe she just needs a little push to realize how she really feels. <laughs> how she really feels, huh? Yeah. I was watching you two dance. There was something there. I don't know, man. But you know what? Maybe you need a push to see what your feelings are all about. My feelings? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Man, I saw you and Teresa dancing together. Now, from where I stood, it looked like y'all had something going on. What do you mean there was something going on? And what do you mean I, I might need a push? What are you saying, Chad? Nothing. Nothing, man. Just making a point. What point? Well, the point being that you can't always tell how two people feel about each other just by watching them dance. I mean, take you and Teresa, right? Now, you two look great dancing together. Now, people who didn't know you would think y'all was a couple. But that don't mean you are, right? No, of course not. I mean, I know things aren't as they seem. Teresa and I are good friends. You know, someone may see us together and read more into it than our friendship. But that's all we are. I know Teresa would agree with me. All right, whatever. I can't believe they picked us. <laughs> really? <laughs> Ethan... Remember what you said about Whitney and Chad being chosen most perfect couple? That it might be a wake-up call for anyone else who might be denying their feelings? Yes, I remember saying that. Well? Well, uh, I think after what happened, that someone is trying to tell me something. Do you really think someone is trying to tell us something? Yes, I think someone is trying to tell us that even expert judges can be wrong about love. What? Well, I mean, you know, Chad and Whitney may very well be in love, and the perfect couple, but not us. I mean, we're just friends. There's no way we could ever be a couple. 